All right, so this response is to Gersh Kuntzman. All right, so Gersh, I hope you're watching because you do need to hear what I'm about to say. All right, for those of you who don't know, Gersh was the one who wrote the article on his experience firing an AR-15. And from what he put, it was horrifying. And the recoil bruised his shoulder. And it felt like a bazooka. And it gave him temporary PTSD. Well, understandably, uh, there were some that mocked him. There were some that uh, sent their videos of their daughters, their seven-year-old daughters, firing AR-15s and having a blast. And then, you know, uh, and obviously he got called a liar, uh, you know. So on that note, I mean, you know, what he did, obviously, you know, Gersh, what you did was mockable, was very, very mockable. I mean... When somebody, when you say that firing an AR-15 to you was horrifying and th gave you temporary PTSD and the recoil bruised your shoulder, uh, and then somebody sends a video of their seven-year-old daughter shooting an AR-15 in to you uh, and having a blast, you know, it's probably not the best idea to double down with an article like the one I have in the description here, and the article's titled, Gun Lovers, Apparently You Can't Have an Opinion on Assault Rifles. Okay. So apparently in your mind, obviously mocking you, uh, saying you're lying, rebutting you, uh, showing you uh, evidence, that, you know, well, showing you videos of their daughter shooting AR-15s, having a blast, apparently uh, <coughs> that's not letting you have an opinion. Well, I really think you need to look at what your own side is doing. <clears throat> Shoot. If you've uh, debated against a gun controller before, you know, there's a good chance you've been uh, called a gun nut, an ammo sexual, uh, accused of having a small penis, you know, accused of not caring about the dead children, you know, or even outright accused of wanting children to die, you know. You know, you've probably heard them say that the NRA is a terrorist organization, you know. And, the, you know, and this is just, you know, their attacks on us. Now, you know, it doesn't include, obviously, things such as radio talk show host Mike Malloy and a few other high-profile gun controllers calling for people to call the police on gun owners and accuse them of being in progress of committing a crime with the hopes that the police will shoot them. You know, this doesn't include all the gun controllers that, you know, wish that we would shoot our kids or shoot ourselves or something, you know. I mean, you know, so, I mean, you know, come on, if that's not letting you have your opinion, Gersh, what do you call your own size behavior? And I haven't even gotten into the fact of, well, what happens if your side gets your way on this issue with black rifles, Gersh? Well, guess what? You've criminalized something we like, you know? And not only that, you guys are going to demand more gun laws. I mean, you're going to move the goalposts in the future. That's already evident. It's already evident because the fact that assault rifles, you know, I know you use the term in your article, but that's also a lie. An AR-15 is not an assault rifle. Uh, because assault rifles are already heavily restricted by the NFA of 1934, and if it's manufactured after 1986, it's banned under the uh, Hughes Amendment to the FOPA of 86. So, there you have it. Uh... It's very rare to see a legally possessed assault rifle in civilian hands. Now what you're talking about going after is black rifles. You know, so we are seeing a pattern here on that one. Now, imagine what happens if we win. Guess what? Nothing really happens to you if we win. You could still sit in there and 
hide in your apartment or your flat or whatever, you know, in what, Manhattan. Type your dishonest statements about firearms. Whine to the world about how uh, 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 scary uh, firing a gun was, you know, and how, how scary it is we let people have guns in this country and, uh, you know, just cry about all the mean little gun, uh, all those mean gun nuts that uh, mocked you for, quite frankly, doing something that's very mock. I mean, come on. I mean, when you're complaining an AR-15 bruised your shoulder. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, really. I mean, but... Even what you say in this article right here, I mean, you, when you double down on this, you don't do anything to disprove us, one, and then two, when you sit there and says, yes, this weapon scares, uh, scared the crap out of me, and it should scare the crap out of you all, too. <laughs> well, I mean, apparently you're telling us now what we should think, too, so apparently we can't have an opposing view, either. <laughs> I love the next line. The Air 15 is a weapon of mass destruction. Hmm. Yeah, because, you know, an AR-15 is totally like a nuke or a uh, chemical weapon. I mean, you know. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. If an AR-15 is a weapon of mass destruction, then neither A, there is no such thing as not a weapon of mass destruction in your book, or B, you're being incredibly dishonest. You know, you're conflating a, a firearm with a weapon that can kill hundreds of thousands in one employment. You know, let's, let's get real, dude. And no, uh, soldiers aren't issued AR-15s. They're issued real assault rifles. You know, M4s and M16s. And yes, I believe that the AR-15 belongs in police hands too. But you know what? It also belongs in civilian hands. It is a very nice rifle to shoot. And just because you can't understand it, doesn't mean we should ban it. Oh, and Gersh, just in case the message wasn't obvious to you, if you want tolerance, you gotta learn to be tolerant of other people. This isn't a one-way street. This is a two-way street. So, you know, by the way, Trying to criminalize, advocating that we criminalize people, you know, simply for their choice of uh, hobby or, you know, maybe their choice of tool for personal protection isn't very tolerant at all. You know, no, it's not. You know, and when you sit there, and try to demonize that, well, guess what? Don't be surprised when people come back with a response. You know? You're acting like what we call a cry-bully. You, you know what a cry-bully is, Gersh? It's somebody who goes and picks a fight, and the second they get a little bit of resistance, they cry and pretend that they were the victim. And this is really what the case is, Gersh is you went and picked a fight, you bit off more than you could chew, and now you're crying about the consequences. All right. Everyone else, y'all take her easy out there. Stay armed. And peace out.